So now in this video, we're going to build a AND logic gate using an NPN bipolar junction transistor. Two of them, actually. We're going to use the 2N3904. Any NPN bipolar junction transistor should work uh, just fine for this particular circuit, but the pin layout may be different. If it starts with 2N, though, and it's a bipolar junction transistor, it's probably the same pin layout. But in uh, any case, what we have here is the AND gate. So the only way the output will be high 5 volts is if we have in this case 5 volts at both of the inputs that will turn both transistors on and give us a current path right there and we need this other resistor here though because when this transistor is off and we put 5 volts there we do have a current path along there without this resistor so that will pull the voltage uh, down way less than what that LED needs to start conducting. So now the uh, 2N3904 in the TO92 package has this pin layout right here and there is the schematic symbol with the name. So the emitter right there is the arrow when you're looking at the flat side that's left pin, base is the middle pin right there and collector is the pin to the right. And here's the uh, chemical makeup really quick right there. The collector will be wired more positive, emitter more negative as far as the power supply is concerned. The base will put to either the positive rail or the negative rail through a resistor though to limit current. But in any case, the collector to emitter does not conduct unless a little bit of current flows from base to emitter. More positive working, more negative there. Allows many times the current to flow from collector to emitter. So now the first 2N3904, we're going to shift it this way. So now it's emitter bottom, base in the middle, and the collector on top. We're going to put the collector to this orange jumper that goes to the positive rail right there. We consider that 5 volts, the negative rail, the uh, blue rail here, ground, we consider 0 volts. And we're going to grab the other transistor, and as you can see, that... According to the schematic here, the collector, so that's the top pin again, goes to the emitter of that one. So we can just put that right on the same row, the collector, right there. So now we will put the uh, resistor that goes from this emitter to ground over there, our zero volt uh, reference point, pretty straightforward. And uh, power is off right now. And one thing we're doing is making sure that we have resistance somewhere along this path before we start connecting the the two uh, resistors that will bring in the signal. So let's do the uh, LED first. Let's uh, zoom back a little bit so we can see there. And so the uh, LED is a diode. It only conducts in one direction. Long lead, the anode is up there. Short lead, the cathode down there. We want the short lead, the cathode, that's that stripe, directly to the negative rail. Long lead, the anode is up one row, and I'm going to grab a 220 ohm resistor. So this is a decent resistor for 5 volts for preventing too much current going through the LED and uh, also to prevent the resistor from getting too hot, which isn't too hard to do with uh, 5 volts. So there we go, and for the uh, base resistors, Let's slide that over there. We're actually going to go towards the other side of the board. So this may be a little hard to see, but uh, as you can see, it goes to the base of the two transistors, the middle pin. And uh, we can push that one out of the way so that we can see a little easier. So this is 10,000 ohms, and we're going to put it to the uh, base and then the other side of the board, just to a blank row. And I went to the wrong pin right there. There we go. So middle pin of the transistor, the base. We'll push that over. And that's another reason why you make sure the power's off. I'm shuffling a lot of stuff. And we go to the base. And uh, I don't want to go in at that angle. There we go. So that's not a 10,000 ohm. I grabbed the uh, wrong one on there. Probably would have worked still. Okay. It's not too picky on this. But uh, we can use a fairly high value resistor because a tiny bit of base to emitter current results in a lot of collector to emitter current. So for our actual inputs we could use mechanical switches or whatever. 
I'm just going to use these uh, jumpers right here. And so I'll plug one to that one and put it to the negative rail. And then one to the other one and put it to the negative rail. So these are off. They're, well, they're turning the transistors off. They're zero volts, zero volts. We need uh, five volts and five volts for the uh, output to be on for the LED to turn on. So let's come to the power supply, turn the uh, power on, and see what we got. So doesn't look like any straight current or anything. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to take the uh, red jumper here, this lower transistor, put it to the positive rail. And we got five volts there. I'm going to turn the light off. You can see the LED is off. It may kind of look like it's on. That's reflection from other light. Now I'm going to yank that uh, resistor that we put to the negative rail. There you can see now current can flow through the resistor, the base 2 emitter, the other resistor, and the LED a tiny bit. So the LED is uh, on. That's why we need this other resistor to pull down the voltage. There you go. Well, that one transistor is to the positive rail. And uh, I should have demonstrated this, but if we just put the other one to the positive rail, well, this one's to the negative, it will still be off. It's that lower one only. That's a problem. But in case we went to positive there, let's zoom back. So, positive, it's off. Negative, it's off. And uh, positive, it's off. And of course, we already saw a negative, it's off. But if we go positive and positive, it's an AND gate. There you can see, now the LED is on. We have about five volts across the LED. And now we'll look at the uh, truth table. I'll just point out I said there's five volts across the LED. It's actually five volts across the protective resistor and the LED. The LED is blocking about uh, 1.5 to 2 volts, somewhere around there. The rest goes across the resistor, which sets the current at that point. Because these transistors are saturated, they're basically conducting fully, not perfectly, but pretty close to fully. And the uh, LED and the resistor there set the current. So in any case, there's the true table. Zero is uh, low, that's zero volts. In this case, one is five volts. So if we give five volts to the uh, resistor of one or the other inputs, then the output will be off if it's just one or the other. But if we give it to all of them, in this case, both of them, there's only two inputs, there's other ones with uh, more inputs, but uh, we give all the inputs a high signal, five volts in this case, we'll get five volts out. And uh, so it's not always five volts and zero volts, but uh, it often is, probably most of the time. There's the AND gate schematic symbol.